Hey, 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 hey. Let's talk about one of the deadliest toxins found in the castor bean plant. So let's get into it. Ricinus communis, the castor bean or castor oil plant, is a species of perennial flower plant in the spurge family. Euphorbiaceae. I hope that I, I, I think I butchered that, but let, let, let's see. It is the sole species in the monotypic genus Ricinus and subtribe Ricininae. I probably mispronounced that again. The evolution of the castor and its relation to the other species are currently being studied using modern genetic tools. It reproduces with a mixed pollination system which favors selfing by jetonogamy, but at the same time it can be an outcrosser by anem anemophily, wind po which is translates to wind pollination, or entomophily. entomophily which is insect uh, insect pollination like bees and and other species of wasps its seed the castor bean which despite its name is not a bean <clears throat> the castor is indigenous to the southeastern mediterranean basin in eastern africa and india but is widespread throughout tropical regions and are widely grown elsewhere as an ornamental plant so why am I making a video about an quote unquote ordinary plant? I'll tell you in just a sec. What is so interesting about the castor bean plant? Its toxicity is what makes this plant so deadly and powerful. Ric Ricinus is extremely allergic and has an opals, which is um, uh, what scientists or people use to calculate how how dangerous this plant is okay basically that's basically what opals is it's like a, it's a i don't know it's a ranking scale to see how how dangerous it is <clears throat> all right so ricinus is extremely allergic allergic and has an opals allergy scale of rating 10 out of 10 which is impressive for a, a plant any plant actually the plant is also a very strong trigger for asthma and allergies to ricinus are commonplace and severe so do never consume one of these out in the wild the castor oil plant produces abundant amounts of very light pollen which can easily become airborne and can be inhaled into the lungs triggering allergic reactions the sap of the plant causes skin rashes Individuals who are allergic to the plant can also develop rashes from merely touching the leaves, flowers, or seeds. These individuals can also have cross-allergic reactions to latex sap from the related heavy, heavy bra brasilensis brasilensis plant. I hope I pronounced that right. The toxicity of raw castor bean beans is due to the presence of ricin although the least lethal dose in adults is considered to be four to eight seeds reports of actual poisoning are relatively rare according to the guinness world records this is the world's most poisonous common plant symptoms of overdosing on on overdosing on ricin can which can include nausea diarrhea tachycardia hypotension and seizures persist for up to a week and I don't think or I don't think anybody can handle that for a week the poison can be extracted extracted from the castor by concentrating it with a fairly complicating complicated process similar to that used for extracting cyanide from alkaloids. if you guys don't know what cyanide is it's another very dangerous poison if ricin is ingested like I said before Symptoms commonly begin within 2 to 4 hours, but may be delayed by up to 36 hours. These include a burning sensation in the mouth, throat, abdominal pain, purging, and bloody diarrhea, which I don't think anybody wants to deal with. Within several days, there is severe dehydration, a, drop, a massive drop in blood pressure, 
and a decrease in urine. Unless treated, death can be expected to occur within three to five days. <clears throat> However, in most cases, a full recovery can be made. Poisoning, oc poisoning occurs when animals, including humans, ingest, ingest broke, broken castor beans or break the seed by chewing. Intact seeds may pass through a digestive tract without releasing the toxin. So it's like, let's say you're, you're eating it and you, you kind of crush it and release the toxin. That's what will really damage you. The toxin provides a castor oil plant with some, some degree of natural protection from the insect pests such as aphids. Aphids are a common uh, pest found in farms and anywhere else. And some species of ants have been, or what I would describe them as to be, are farmer ants, which uh, they kind of like, you, you could say, it's kind of funny saying this, they tickle the aphid and make it release honeydew. That's what they do. But I think I'm going to make a video later, later on, on those farmer ants. Ricin has been investigated for its potential use as a insecticide. The castor oil plant is also the source of undecylenic acid. I definitely did not pronounce that right. A natural fung fungicide. Some of the importances for the castor bean plant uh, can produce castor oil, which has many uses in medicine and other applications, an alcoholic extract of the leaf was shown in laboratory rats to protect the liver from damage from certain poisons which is very useful methanolic extracts of the leaves of ricinus communis were used in antimicrobial antimicrobial testing against eight pathogenic bacteria in rats and showed anti antimicrobial properties so that's that so that's where I'm gonna leave the video for today, guys. If you guys want more, uh, more content like this, make sure to subscribe and like. And I'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Also, did I forget to mention that when the poison is processed from the castor bean, it's completely odorless. That's what makes it so so popular amongst assassins. You never know when it's coming. And this is the real end of the video. Bye-bye.